the time just changed to 11.11 so I am recording this instead of thinking about what I'm going to say which is what I was planning to do but I want to speak about truth because truth is very important to me very important to us you know humans that value truth are honest people and they are the ones that change and grow because the alternative to embracing truth, seeking truth, finding truth, remembering truth is living in illusion <laughs> and there is not one soul that wishes to stay living in illusion because it's not healthy. But I have always considered myself to be an honest person, an honest human. <laughs> of course, there are many humans who may offer an alternative experience, and that's okay. We can't be truthful. 100% 100% of the time or rather we couldn't we've lived a life where we couldn't whether we had to consciously or whether we just unconsciously veiled our intentions or didn't reveal our innermost thoughts or as a human there is a massive responsibility to carry all sorts of <laughs> stuff <laughs> that's not helpful and shame pride and guilt keep us from being able to express hey look here come here come here come on then hey look that can't be bad news eh yeah point is sometimes we don't even know what the truth is Sometimes we think we know what the truth is. Sometimes we speak confidently about what we think we know the truth to be. <laughs> like speaking confidently about our plans based on what we believe to be the truth. If you want to make God laugh, tell him your plans. Truth, love, and God, indistinguishable. You might notice in the outer world, as within, truth is becoming more evident, apparent, even through the mainstream, which is just the defensive walls of the coding of the matrix being dismantled before our very eyes in order to embrace a new approach and to cast the net wider yes truth is doing that so many many strange events may occur who knows what's going to happen there are many people who claim to know I used to know until I decided to start knowing so much. Because what you know kills you. And I want to live. So. Definitive. Unequivocal truth. In this life. I don't know. I don't know who can speak to that, for that. I've spoken with that authority before. But it was very much unplaced. No, not unplaced. I don't know.
The point is, I can have my truth. I can know things to be true for me. I can't expect them to be true for everybody. Maybe the journey is a path of whittling away my truth until it becomes our truth or the truth. Are you being deceived? Is the great unanswerable question. So when you realize that it's only us deceiving ourselves, you learn to tune out of the external, knowing that that's just a broadcast from somewhere within. So when somebody does something wrong, quote unquote, to you, for you, when you forgive them, you bless twice because you bless the aspect of yourself that would do that, does do that, has done that, and you, you bless another soul and we are one. What we do for another, we do for ourselves. Hey, guys, didn't you just hear what I said? Hey, remember oneness? <laughs> Maybe cats is a different story. I don't think it is, you know. Prophet is just a speaker of truth. The danger is if you speak about the future and people agree to it, How many different people speaking of how many different futures equals how many different flavours of chaos? If we're not all speaking about the same time and space, then what is that doing to the continuum? <laughs> this is why it's important to understand your own truth, to be in your own energy, to know your own consciousness, the ideas, the feelings, the energy, so that you can move into your future, which is our future. Untainted by any other consciousness of which you can never know the truth of that consciousness, the intention, the anything because the moment you allow someone else's ideas to seep into your ideas you've already lost yourself and if you let too much in by the time you shut the gates you won't be able to distinguish what's yours anymore. <sighs> Truth prevails always. 